Supporters of Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price are saying that the people behind her recall effort committed fraud in the signature gathering process and claim that California's Attorney General is doing nothing about it. As Crown Force Dan Kerman tells us, the allegations come as the Registrar of Voters is still trying to determine if there are enough legal signatures to force a recall election. Backers of Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price are alleging her opponents who are trying to recall her committed fraud during the signature gathering process. We have extensive evidence that we've collected from our volunteers, from folks who are just living citizens, people who live in Alameda County, who've come to us and made these claims, and they and everyone else deserve for our inte integrity, integrity, election integrity to be maintained. The allegations set forth in a slideshow presentation revolve around three main complaints. Signature petitions were left unattended on tables, and some signature gatherers were from outside the county and others from outside the state, which they say may be illegal. They also allege some signers were lured to sign an unrelated petition and then presented with the price recall. On February 28th, we sent a letter to California Attorney General Rob Bonta asking him to investigate our claims. Today is May March 18th. We've not heard anything from Attorney General Rob Bonta or his office. And th this isn't the type of thing that you can wait six months for, right? Democracy is currently being tested in Alameda County. The Price campaign calls Bonta's alleged inaction a dereliction of duty. And now they've asked the U.S. Attorney's Office to investigate. This is even more important today because every single signature is now under in increased scrutiny following the announcement last Thursday by the Register of Voters that the folks who spent millions of dollars to collect signatures and may not have enough. Just last week, the Alameda County Registrar of Voters said the signatures would have to be manually counted to verify if there were enough legal signatures because a random sampling was not sufficient. 73,195 legal signatures would force Pamela Price into a recall election. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.